Well, good evening, and first of all, let me apologize for the state of my voice. As you can hear, I should not be recording this. I should be lying in bed, drinking fluids, and all that. But my students need a solution to the final exam that they took a week ago. So, I'm going to risk it. Be patient, and let's start with question number one. A simple question on solution of a circuit. For 15% of the exam's weight, it said, use nodal analysis or modify nodal analysis, MNA, to find V1, V2, V3, V4, and this controlling current, Ix, in this branch. Hmm. The very first thing that we notice right off the bat is that this ideal source, 20 volts, is telling us the value on V3. You see the reference node has been chosen for us down here, and V1, V2, V3, and V4 have been identified already, and V3 is 20 volts. So we have one of the answers already for free, and we collect marks for that. Next, V source branch on the top an evil branch, we nicknamed those sources here, because we do not need to compute the current in that branch, we can actually enclose that in a supernode uh, enclosure, a Gauss surface, and declare that a supernode and write only one KCL equation for the entire supernode. But that means uh, that um, V1 is higher than V4. Yeah, is by how much? By the value of this voltage source. Yes, this is a voltage source, right? It is a voltage source with a value computed as four times the current Ix. So, the evil branch equation is written here on the side. V1 is 4 Ix plus V4. Now we're ready. Let's identify the branch currents as you see them here, there, there, and there. This one is given, that one is given, and this one is also given, and we do not need the currents in the ideal sources in this exercise. So we write one controlling equation for the voltage Vx. Vx turns out to be from the figure v4 minus v3 which is 20 volts already so that is ctlv vx is v4 minus 20 volts ctli corresponding to this uh, controlling current ix ix is uh, v3 minus v2 over 10 ohms but v3 is 20. here is your controlling equation for that current ix and now we are left not with four, but with only two KCL equations. One for node two, and one for the super node. Why not writing a KCL equation for V3? Because we already know that voltage. And on top of that, we do not care for the current in the 20 volt, uh, 20 volt source. That is why. And the same is true for the controlled source. This one, this is a current controlled voltage source. It is a voltage source. And we write that. KCL2 for the node right there in the center. That is currents arriving in it is uh, the voltage on this side V4 plus 4Ix minus V2 divided by 8 ohms plus the current flowing from the bottom through this uh, controlled current source and that is 2 times Vx plus the current Ix and that is equal to currents leaving the node which is V2 minus V4 over 2. Now we write a KCL equation for the super node. Currents going in 10 amps plus this other current here V2 minus V4 divided by 2 ohms. Currents leaving the super node three of them. This one here, that one there, and this other one. We enter them in the calculator. In reality, I chose to include one fifth equation. V1 is V4 plus 4 Ix, an evil 
branch equation so that I could type v1 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 instead of v4 plus 4ix that is why so the unknowns are going to be 5 in my case v1 v2 v4 vx and ix and uh, we solve for that with the symbolic solver linear solver and those are the values v1 21.14 volts in v2 907 volts in v4 16.77 and v3 is already given is 20 volts the value of the current ix is 109 amps and that is all that was that question thank you thank you very much and I hope to see you in the video with a solution to the second of the six questions in the exam.